the very first version of Sofa launched in September of 2015. At that time, it was a three-person team. I was a designer, Ollie was the iOS developer, and Dan was the web developer. Life happened, and Dan and Ollie weren't able to continue working on the app. I was very hungry to push the idea and the product forward, so I decided to learn iOS development, and in 2017, December of 2017, I launched Sofa 2.0, which was really kind of a, a brand new product. Ever since then, I've been working on Sofa myself. During the past eight years, Sofa is something that I've always done on the side. I've had a full-time job as a designer, and I've worked on Sofa during nights and weekends. Today marks a very big moment for me. I've quit my day job to focus on Sofa full-time. First thing I want to answer is why now? Why is now the time to do this? For as long as I can remember, I have wanted to work for myself. And the past eight years have been just kind of hustling and grinding towards that goal. But it's not enough to just want something. You have to you have to make plans and you have to put in the work to get there. And leading up to this, I can remember Googling, you know, when is the right time to go full time on something you've been doing on the side and and really not not being satisfied with any of the answers that came out of that. A lot of it was very uh, wishy-washy and or people just being a little too risky. Now, I don't know if there's ever a right time to do something like this, but I was trying to figure out, is this a good time to do this? And really to answer that, I focused on three specific things, finances, discipline, and happiness. So first thing is finances, and it really focused on, am I financially ready for a life change like this? Do I have any debt? Is there money saved? Is money coming in through SOFA? Is there revenue and, and income coming in? And all that stuff was, was thought about and talked about a lot. And I made a video on it before, but the budget spreadsheet that I put together and I will link to that in the description, uh, was an insanely useful tool for figuring all of the stuff out for me. The next thing was discipline. And this, this really focuses on, do I have the discipline to set my own schedule and to keep working on something in a structured way so that I'm not just being lazy and sleeping in and, and not really putting the work in? I'm actually not worried about this one because I feel like I've proven that I do have the discipline over the past eight years. So that's not really something I'm too concerned about, but it is an important factor to think about. And the last thing is happiness. Will, will I be happier doing this full time? You know, there's some things like a hobby, right? So I love photography. I think if I had to turn that into a job, I would not like it very much, but as a hobby, it's great. And I get a lot of joy out of it. And I know there's people who make apps for fun. That is a hobby of theirs. They have no intention of, of turning that into a, a full-time business. If they make money on the side, that's great. But for, for myself, I've always been wanting to make this a, a career and a full-time job. So really focusing on these three things, so the finances, the discipline, and, and the happiness really helped to answer the question, not is this the right time, but is this a good time? I also didn't answer these questions myself. This was a team effort with my wife, and we had many conversations about this. And honestly, without her support with this, this just wouldn't be happening. So you might be wondering, if I quit my job, how am I planning to make money? Three ways. First is Sofa. And currently, Sofa is the primary way that I'm going to be bringing in money. I offer a paid subscription in the app. And over the past few years, it has been growing in a, in a very nice way. And that is going to continue to be my primary focus here. The second is YouTube. I've been making YouTube videos for the past few years, but really only in the past year or two is when I've really started to take it more seriously. At this point, I'm all in on YouTube and I'm gonna be spending a lot of time to make it an additional source of income. I've dabbled a bit in selling digital products and I've seen a bit of promise with it. I think it's a natural fit for the process and the tools that I use to make Sofa anyway. And then how I talk about stuff on YouTube. I think the three of these things actually work together very well. So far, I've made a few spreadsheet templates and Notion templates, and I don't know how much this part of the business is, is gonna grow, but I think it's worth investing in. So if you made it this far into the video, you might be wondering how you can support me. First off, thank you, very nice. Second, I'll break it down into free ways you can support me and paid ways you can support me. So first the free, you can download Sofa from the App Store if you have an iPhone, an iPad, or an Apple Silicon Mac. Sofa is free to use for as long as you want. There is a paid option, but you can just use it for free. That's totally fine. You can also tell your friends, your family, coworkers, anyone, 
just if you're just walking through Target or something, just tell someone about it. They'll they'll appreciate it. Second free thing is you can subscribe and watch me on YouTube. It's a very low effort way to uh, to support me. You, you're doing it right now, so thanks. Wow. So the first paid way you can support me is to upgrade and subscribe to Super Sofa. So Super Sofa is the pro version of Sofa and it gives you a bunch of extra features and you can subscribe on a monthly or yearly basis or if you want, you can buy a lifetime option. The second way is you can buy my templates. So there will be links in the description, but there are a couple budget uh, spreadsheet templates and a Notion template that you can use to kind of manage your own app. So I have links to those templates and there's videos showing you how to use them too. I am very excited to do this, to go full time with Sofa. Very, very excited. But I'm also very aware that this may not work. Maybe people unsubscribe from Sofa in large numbers, or I can't grow this YouTube channel enough, or some weird life event happens. At some point, I may have to get a day job again just to pay the bills. That doesn't really scare or bother me in any real way, because at least I'll know that I gave this a real shot. And I'd rather have given this a shot and failed than to never have even tried. Wish me luck. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.